Hello, my name is Lily Voglesang and I am the product manager here at Toon Boom Animation. And today I'd like to show you a little bit about our new product, Storyboard Pro 3D. So, um, Storyboard Pro 3D is a pre-production software to use to um, organize your thoughts and, and your show before you're going to actually produce it. Um, so let's start out by going over here to the vertical view. And um, as you can see, the interface here in Storyboard Pro is fully customizable. I can move things around, I can take windows and pop them off and redock them and rearrange them, which is really nice to get your workspace working the way that you are comfortable with it working. Now the first thing that we do when we start up a storyboarding project is we'd like to load in a script here. And as you can see, you, we do support Final Draft if you're using Final Draft for script writing. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and import something that is a um, text file. And um, that way I can go ahead and um, do something a little bit easier here for you guys. So let's see in here, file to import, pirate scene text. I'm just going to do a really short little example. So um, now that I've got my script loaded into my script window, uh, the next thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to organize uh, the panels that I'm going to draw so that I have the scene set up um, so I can continue working here. So let's start out by selecting some text. I'll select the text right over here. And um, this is going to be an action note for my first panel. And when I look at the layout of my captions, these are also customizable. I know that I'm not going to use the slugging caption, so I can go ahead and delete that caption from my um, storyboard project, and it just warns me that, that it's going to delete it from the whole project. Now that I've got my first um, panel sort of laid out how I want to, I might want to just do a thumbnail sketch right here um, in that panel so that I can um, go ahead and flush it out in the other view. And I like to do my thumbnail over here because it restricts the area that I can draw into a nice small area. And one of the other fun things to use is the brush preset toolbar. And the brush preset toolbar allows you to quickly go to certain brush settings that you're accustomed to using a lot. So one of the things that is a little bit different about Storyboard Pro 3D is that when you select a, a, a tool, for example, like my brush tool, I get all of my tool properties in one tool properties window that updates automatically as I switch tools. Now I have a separate color tab to control the color. Um, so one thing that you can do if you want to be able to see these two things at the same time is you can actually drag and drop your color window down to the bottom so that you can see both the color window and your tool properties window at the same time. But what the brush preset uh, toolbar here does is that if I click on that brush tool, it's going to go ahead and select automatically for me all of the um, tool properties and the color that I've previously saved to use there. Um, so I'll just do a quick little thumbnail of what I want to have happen in this frame. So I want to have some kind of a ship here, pirate ship, that is going to come towards the camera in this direction. And you don't have to be super detailed about what you're doing because you're going to go ahead and flush it out in the other view. So this is just a really quick um, to view here to get a layout of what I want that panel to look like. Now that I've got this panel done, I probably want to go back to my storyboarding window and I can hide um, or get rid of my uh, color window just by clicking down there to you know, minimize that window. And um, I can go ahead and look at my next panel. So it looks like I want to add a new scene here. And you want to change scenes every time you change camera angles. Um, so now I know that I want to cut to a top-down shot. So I am going to go ahead and just drag and drop this text here into my action notes. And I could also make an additional note, uh, camera pan from top to bottom. That way, you know, I've just got that note to myself for when I'm ready to go ahead and do my camera moves. And so I probably want to do this as a bit of a, a closer shot here. Maybe I've got some, you know, this is like the, the mast on my pirate ship there. And then I've got my deck of my pirate ship. And then I probably have a person that's going to be standing on my deck there. And so that's the basic layout for what I want to do on this panel. Um, so now that I've got this panel laid out, then I can uh, do my last panel. I'll, I'll add a new scene for my last panel. And I just have some, uh, probably going to be a close shot here on this character. So I'll put the dialogue, the, the dialogue uh, caption there. And then I can draw uh, the, the face of the, of the person that I'm going to um, draw. So there we go. I've got just a, I don't know, maybe I'll have him waving a sword around and uh, standing just sort of like that. Okay, 
So I didn't do anything super detailed, but doing these little thumbnails at first to get you started really helps to save time because sometimes um, if you don't do that, you don't see how the flow of the panels work and you can spend a lot of time develop developing a panel that you won't really use. So that's definitely um, a good idea to do that first.